hello guys and welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to set up our server and make sure it runs so first of all let's create a folder on our desktop so i'll name my to do app and then i'll go to my search bar and type in cdn just to get my command prompt and I want to navigate to the working directory of this folder so I'll just type in cd space bar and then I'll drag and drop this folder and then press enter so I'm on my current directory where I want to work right now so I'm gonna type in npm in it this will take a couple of minutes so we are asking whether i should press enter and then leave the package name as to do that so i just want to press enter and then enter 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 Yeah, it's okay so press enter once you are done you can just type in code spacebar dot just to open your text editor for you so once it's done you can start by creating a folder and then from there you'll be good to go so first click on this image here and then we want to call our server app.js so app.js so once we are done creating our app.js file let's quickly download some dependencies we are going to download our express and then body partial. We are going to type npm app for install, or you can type it in express then body partial. Press enter. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Alright, so once you are done installing, we can require them in our server. So we type in const express and we require it here. Express. We are going to also require our body parts. We are going to set our app, creating a constant for it. So our app will be listening to for three thousand. We want to be sure, so we have to console log it. whenever we set our app in motion we have to get a message on our console by saying maybe app is running on port 3000 just to be sure 
so now we can create our endpoints and then paste it and see so dot get so we have to create a route for it then our route is just a four slash and our route we'll be dealing with two things here it's either getting things from there or pushing things to our routes to so request and then response right so for now we just want to send something there so respond but send want to send hello so once it works we'll be sure that we, everything is working right so it's left with one thing I want us to download, which is node mod. So when we go to our browser, I'll leave the link down below. What node mod does it is it will take track of our app.js file. So whenever we make changes here, when we save it, it will refresh on its own for us, right? So you'll come here and then you copy npm install dash g node mod. And you come and paste it here on your working directory. So you come and paste it here, then press enter to so download your uh, node mod for you. I've already done that, so I won't do it here. What the dash g is doing here is it's installing it globally. So once you install it here, the next time you are creating another app, you don't need to install it again, right? So now we can continue. So let's open our terminal here by clicking on terminal, new terminal. So once our terminal is done open, let's type in new terminal. So our new mode will start for us. So until we get this message, sorry. Until we get this message down below, then it means our app is not running. At this stage, you see we are getting some white circle here. It means we cannot save our file yet. So we have to press Ctrl S just to save it. Once it comes this way, then it means you save it. Now we get it, you said app is running on for 3000 so now we can go to our local host, uh, local host and then get this message from the hello world so we head back to our web browser and type in local host column for 3000 and press enter so we are getting our hello world so it means we've been able to set our server running so let's change it here to so demos is good board. Let's save it. So you see, once we save it, it says node mode restarting due to changes, right? So whenever we make changes here. Node more will take care of the refreshing for us. So once you come here, let's refresh our then we are getting Gmails, it's a good board. So now we are done setting up. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and join the don't have community. Let's build this up together.